fractions introduction of fractional numbers ananya ordered a pizza for herself and she sat down to eat this is a whole it is denoted by one a friend joined her she had to cut it into two equal parts each part is called one half it is denoted by part 1 by 2 but before they could slant another friend dropped in and it had to be cut into three equal parts each part is called one third it is denoted by 1 by 3 ayushri walked in to join them for a pizza party so they had to divide into four equal parts each part is called one fourth it is denoted by 1 by 4 similarly we can have more equal parts one out of five equal parts is called one fifth it is denoted by 1 by 5 one out of six equal parts is called one sixth it is denoted by 1 by 6 one out of seven equal parts is called One seventh. It is denoted by one by seven. Can you tell me what fraction represents in whole? From the figures, it is clear that the number of colored parts is the same as the number of equal parts. Then the fraction is equal to whole. when the number of colored parts is the same as the number of equal parts the fraction represent a whole and denoted by 1 there are four hats three of them are colored we say 3 by 4 of the hats are colored and 1/4 of the hats are not colored forms of fractional numbers look at the fraction 2 is called numerator it is a number of part taken 5 is called denominator it is the total number of parts of the whole the line between the numerator and denominator also has a special name it is called fraction bar numerator and denominator of the fractional numbers are called terms equivalent fractions what fraction represent the colored part 1 half now what fraction represent the colored part 2/4 Now what part is the colored part? 3/6. The fractions 1/2, 2/4 and 3/6 indicates the equal parts of the whole. The group of fractions which represent the same part of an object through different numerals are called equipment fractions. Now we know about equivalent fractions. Now tell me how to find equivalent fractions. It's very easy. We multiply or divide the term of a fraction by same number. So, 3/4 and 6/8 are the equivalent fractions. Let's try one more example. replace by suitable number to represent the equivalent fractions since denominator 6 has been multiplied by 2 to get 12 so multiply 5 also by 2 correct 2 times 5 is 10 so replace the questions mark by 10 let's solve one more Since numerator 10 has been divided by 2 to get 
So, 16 is also divided by 2 and we get 8. Correct. Simplest form. We already know that 4 eighths, 2 fourth and 1 half are equivalent fractions. If 4 eighths is divided by 4, then we get 1 by 2. 1 half is the simplest numeral because there is no number except 1 that will divide exactly both numerator and denominator. Comparing and ordering fractions Let's compare the group of fractions. It is clear from the figure 0 by 4 is smallest fractional numbers and 4 by 4 is the greatest. So we write from smallest to greatest numbers. What is special in the above fractional numbers? Correct. All the denominators are same, so it is easy to compare the numerals. The fractions with same denominator having greater numerator is greater. Again, it is clear from the figures 1 by 2 is the greatest and 1 by 8 is the smallest fractional numbers. So, arranging from greatest to smallest, we get 1 by 2 is greater than 1 by 4, 1 by 4 is greater than 1 by 8. See the numerators. All are same. So, remember, the fraction with same numerator having greatest denominator is smaller. Now you are able to compare the fractions of same numerator, same denominator. We will discuss about kinds of fraction in another chapter.